Hello, this is Diego Saldivar, a Neurogame developer. I hope that your New Year celebrations have been quite jolly. Mine have been very nice. And um, for this year, I would like to start working with Muse 2. So that's why I have taken their um, developers SDK for Unity. And I started working on developing a small little template where we can start playing with some of the data that Muse 2 gives us out of the box. They give you artifacts such as blinking, um, but they don't give you interpreted data such as heartbeat and calm or focus values. I had to use ChatGPT to help me make some sort of very basic, very dumb model. It kind of works, but it needs refinement. I have spoken with um, the team at Interaxon, the make yourself the muse, and they have agreed to help me a little bit with this. So as you can see, I created a template for um, anyone to just be able to use. If you go to settings, you'll see it's very easy to look for your um, headset. And uh, usually it just automatically looks for it and latches onto it. But if you have more than one in the same household, you may want to select your own. Uh, you can also disconnect, rescan, connect, etc., etc. Here we have a very basic heads up display when we have uh, the contact points and the contact quality of these um, four EEG um, terminals. Um, red means it's very bad quality, green is good quality, and amber is like eh, mediocre quality, but still passable. Uh, these uh, specific numbers here focus flow and calm they were given to me basically by chat gpt i told it okay this is the raw data that i get how can i calculate how focused i am how calm i am according to them um and it gives me a few numbers that are approximately not that bad um they're not very precise but if i really concentrate um I can really feel like there's some sort, of, some sort of responsiveness. Hopefully, as this template is released to the public, people will be able to further uh, help me out with these numbers because I'm not a data scientist and uh, this is the best I could do. So um, if you just click Start, you come right into this playground where you have certain things already plugged into uh, the Interaction Interfacer. That's how I called it. Um, the more calm you are, the higher the sphere goes. Uh, the more focused you are, the quicker the cube will rotate. And the state of flow, well, you see it going up and down. And we also have some artifacts that I wanted to use here, such as eye blinking. Every time I blink, there you go. Uh, that thing responds. Um, when I clench my jaw, we're really, like really, really clenched. Uh, you'll see that this uh, bar will go up. and so on and so forth. Um, those are artifacts that come from muscular movement, um, which is giving us as something that we can use uh, for ourselves. But this is not all we get. This is just a few things that I wanted to just exemplify. If you go to Assets, Neurogame Game Dev Scenes, you'll see that there's this test scene uh, where we can get all the data that the Interaction Muse is giving um to unity uh we start with the basics connected battery head and fit which is basically the colors that i used um then we also have uh the artifacts if the head is on or not if i take it off it should be false there you go now if i put it back on and i put it correctly you'll see that the head and fit will change uh, it has to be quite snug and then, yeah, if you stay for a moment, it will get a good fit. Um, if I blink, it should be true there. Jaw clench again. There you go. Um, the accelerometer and the gyroscope, they are um, basically responding to the head movement. You could use this, uh, I don't know, for inverse kinematic something, something, um, or whatever it is. Um, also, here below, we have the interpreted values from the chat gpt model 
Um, the calmness, focus on flow, go from zero to one. I've never gone above zero point five or something, uh, but this is um, kind of dependent on the fit. If it's not a good fit, these numbers will not necessarily work because I'm using a cleaned up version of the values that Interaction is giving me. Um, so yeah, and also I put here heart monitor is more of a photophotismograph for rate more like um yeah i should change the name there um chat gpt was able to basically give me the rate of how the light is behaving however uh in order to be able to get the heart rate i would need to have some sort of uh filter with um machine learning to be able to see where the peaks are and to be able to interpret what I, what is the baseline and then what's the peaks and then I give you the heart rate. Um, it was a little bit difficult for me to do it, so I didn't do it. Um, however, I put some sort of uh, dot here going larger or smaller depending on um, the rate at which, I don't know, my bloodstream is going on my forehead. Um, which already gives you an idea of where the heartbeat is. Um, as I'm speaking, of course, the light is moving and there's so many artifacts, but if I remain still, the data should be a little bit more reliable. Um, this is here basically for show purposes. Um, if you just use the, the um, single ton, you'll see all this data that you may be able to use uh, from absolute alpha waves or relative alpha waves or what I'm using, uh, alpha score waves, uh, you will be able to much more reliably use them for whatever you want if you're that good of a data scientist or if you understand um, neurology a little bit more than I do. But with the values that I have already been able to derive on my own, I can already start making any kind of gameplay as you have already seen um the playground might be a little bit simple but it already helps you connect things and it's just like any other controller um just use whatever values you have to your advantage so keeping up with the usual experiment um straying away from the meditation apps i made one of these pyre games where um, you have to be not very calm and very concentrated to make the fire burn. Uh, let me try to demonstrate this in here. So let me try hating this guy. And so on and so forth you know um this usually also goes up and down as i'm speaking because it's getting some artifacts my muscles moving and also um of course my state of mind is going all around so as you can see the template is ready to be used except for one small little detail the muse as a that is being given by interaction has a very specific um license which allows single users or single teams to be able to um use their code and then publish a game or any kind of app, but it doesn't allow for open code distribution. So right now I'm speaking with people at Interaction to be able to secure a distribution license for this template. And hopefully I will be able to distribute it next month. I'm also planning this year to have some workshops in video game conferences around the world to show how this template can be used and maybe have a newer game jam every now and then. Um, we'll see how that goes. I will be giving you more information as this plan develops. I hope that in February I will be able to distribute this template openly so that people can also contribute with their own models using this EEG data or PPG data as well um, so that we as a community can continue developing this since this is such a low barrier of entry technology. Hopefully, if this continues developing, 
uh, who knows? Maybe Interaction will make a gaming muse, or maybe they will finally give the developing community some sort of um, interpreted values such as heart rate, calm, focus, which might be a little bit more um, reliable. Who knows? Hopefully also in February, I will also have some Android example for you to check it out as well. We'll see. Um, I just have to uh, iron out some kinks here and there with the Android examples that Interaction provides, but I hope things will be going just as well. And that's it for this month. I hope to be able to share this with you next month. And I also hope to be able to kickstart this community um, using the Muse as a baseline for neuro game development. Thank you very much. I will see you around. Goodbye.